Sasha Corbin's psychological situation is becoming more and more serious. After taking Dr. Monte's prescription medication, she was unable to control her own actions and emotions. She fantasized Cody was Cyrus, and as a result, she stabbed him. Cody's injuries are not worrisome, but Sasha's health is at an alarming level. It is worth mentioning that it was Dr. Montague who approached her with his despicable actions. He injected her with a drug that made her worse. He then recorded Sasha's account of her assault. Fortunately, Diane Miller rushed in and prevented Sasha from saying anything else. The female lawyer said that the doctor, really, had a problem. Naturally, she will promptly update Sonny on that. The gang boss won't let anyone get Brando's wife off track. He will send a follower to Dr. Montague, and it will be a shock when he finds out Gladys has been expertly wearing a mask. Back with Sasha, she was sent to Ferncliff for the criminally insane. However, that is not the end of her life. Sonny will find a way to bring her back to normal life. Tragically, Sasha will continue to make mistakes when she can't control her own mind. You know Nina has always given Sasha special attention. Thus, Sonny's fans will visit her often. Fueled by a deep belief in Sasha's potential and an unwavering faith in her ability to overcome her inner demons, Nina will go to great lengths to advocate for Sasha's well-being. Sadly, it is revealed that Sasha will unleash her violence on someone in the coming week. Nina will step in to intervene, and unfortunately, she, accidentally, becomes the victim of this attack. It becomes inescapably clear that Sasha, grappling between the realms of delusion and reality, succumbed to a crippling wave off post-traumatic flashbacks. Her outburst causes Nina to be severely injured. I know Nina haters will praise this storyline. But, sacrificing herself for Sasha's sake could be her way of scoring points with Willow and Sunny. What's your opinion? Please feel free to comment on this topic.